Hey, Coach Rye from Team Flex. We're going to break down my top five for the Wellness Olympia 2022. I've been doing these prediction videos a couple years in a row, and you seem to like them a lot. So I figured, you know what? Let's pop up another one. And also during this video, I'm going to go into the criteria a little bit and where I think wellness as a whole division is going to be heading. So this will be super beneficial to you, any of you out there that are competing in wellness, no matter what level you are at. So let's dive in first and just start talking about wellness as a whole. We're about a week out from the Olympia, by the way, and uh, it's going to be very exciting. So as I'm filming this and I'm making my predictions, let's see where those land. I also want to know what yours are. All right. So if you have any predictions, you have any different ideas, or you think that these predictions I'm going to make are on par, drop it in the comments and we'll see, you know, just about a week now, uh, who's actually right about this. Okay. So I think first things we have to do to really kind of start this video off would be review 2021 Olympia. Okay. So let's take a look over at the actual 2021 Olympia wellness, which was our first year uh, that we had wellness at the Olympia, okay, which is a big deal. Um, if you don't know, the Olympia pretty much sets the standard for the criteria period. This is what the judges want to see, um, you know, trickling down all the way to even your first show in the MPC. So when they are bringing a new division on like wellness, which it's only had one Olympia, I mean, this is a time where we could see some changes happening as judges continue to carve out this division. From my experience and what I've seen every time they've added a new division, it kind of takes a few years a few Olympias for sure to really kind of nail down exactly what the criteria is. So let's pop over to NPC News real quick and just look at last year's. And you guys, if you're not checking out NPC News for resources, for, you know, rules, for um, updates and for shows, it's the place to be. So definitely check out that. OK, so here we go. Last year, wellness, the first one uh, at the Olympia, we had Francili win. We had Angela take second. We had Issa take third. We had Yurishna take fourth and Julie Chitara taking fifth. OK, so that was, you know, really the kind of definition. Obviously, we had many other athletes there. OK, but this year, if we go take a look at how many athletes are going to be here, it is a little bit crazier, okay? So let me pull up the qualified athletes for this year for you, and let's just take a look at who will actually be there, This or is at least qualified. I mean, it's speculation who will actually be there, but here's what we got, right? So we have a lot of familiar names from that top five. Um, you know, Francili, Angela, Issa, all these people. You reach now there, Sonny, all these. And uh, as we look down this list, though, we have a ton of other possible you know, athletes that could land in this top five. There's definitely a lot of new pros and wellness coming to stage, um, you know, this year. And that's a that's that means you know, this criteria and what the judges are looking for could really shape out differently depending. So it's going to definitely be interesting. Um, let's now look at starting with uh, basically the fifth place position. I think we will see in wellness. And this is actually an athlete that did not make it into the top five last year. And we're going to actually review kind of uh, her Instagram a little bit. We'll review everybody's a little and just see what we're looking at here as far as where they're posting, where they're at. Okay. So Sunny Andrews, she's a fan favorite in a lot of ways. A lot of people really like her. Um, and she landed in six last year. Okay. She was in that first call out, but she landed six just out of that top five. And I said last year in my prediction video, the reason was I thought she was pushing her physique too far. Okay. I said this before the Olympia even happened, just looking at what was going on. I was, you know, saying she's pushing her physique too far, you know, getting too muscular, too lean. And, you know, we're looking at these shots she's got going here and I would say, OK, she's pushed it even further than before. OK, so, uh, you know, I still have her in my top five just because I think that there's, you know, potential that she has improved enough. And that if she fills out right and she does all that, she's not going to look this lean, this shredded. But the criteria for wellness, you know, as it has sat for a while, is not to be overly muscular. It is not to be overly lean. It's supposed to be pretty on par with bikini as the rule state as far as, you know, basically how conditioned you should be. So we will see where it lands. She's looking very lean, very muscular. Uh, I'm still putting her in my top five this year. So I will be interested to see, though, because, you know, she if the judges decide that she's too lean, she's too, you know, conditioned at that point or too muscular for this, she could land, you know, anywhere outside 
of that. She could be even, you know, seventh, eighth, somewhere in there. So I would say she's top five uh, for sure. That's going to be my fifth place position for sure. So let's take a look now over at who I will think take fourth this year. All right. So uh, who I think will take fourth is going to be uh, Yurishna. All right. Yurishna is another big fan favorite. People might be like, okay, well, why would she be in fourth, uh, you know, what's the deal there? Why wouldn't she be, you know, in in actually a different placing? And it has to do with, again, the fact I think she's pushing her physique way too far. OK, from what I can see, you know, she's looking very lean, very striated. Now, again, this could be a time, though, where wellness takes a turn, where things start to look different for the wellness division. This could be a time where, you know, we see this is not uh, this is actually what the judges are looking for. So, you know, she was in um, whatever placing last year, I believe the same placing fourth. And she will be, in my opinion, I think fourth again. Her and Sunny are honestly a toss up for fourth and fifth. It could go either way with the two of them. But that is still where I would land them, because as you look at some of these posts she has, you know, uh, she's just looking very, very lean, very very muscular. Okay. And this is pushing the limits of what the criteria has been stated. But the fun factor is like I was talking about with wellness, with, uh, you know, this being the second time at the Olympia, if the judges are going to change their criteria, you know, this would be the time for them to really do that and send us a message saying, Hey, we're looking for different things. Now we actually do want to make, you know, wellness a little bit less comparable to bikini. We want to push it a little bit further and that's going to be an interesting thing. Okay. So here is who I think will now take a third place and it's going to be Angela. All right. So Angela landed herself in second last year. Um, I don't think though at this point she is exemplifying this criteria as well as she was then. She's a well-seasoned athlete. She's been doing wellness a very, very long time. You know, a lot of people in a lot of ways call her kind of queen of wellness since she was doing this before it was even in the IFBB um, and the MPC. But, you know, I think looking at her physique, she is pushing it too far uh, to say, you know, that her, you know, she's just not the most, she's pretty dominant lower body, but she also is a little bit, in my opinion, asymmetrical. Okay. I look at shots like this and, you know, it kind of looks like her quads are a little bit too big and we will see, you know, I think she could be a toss up, but I would still put her in third. And you guys got to remember everything we're looking at is like Instagram. So, you know, a lot of well, who knows what's going on here with these photos that could be dictating this uh, athletes generally do not look the same they do in photos on stage at all they often appear much leaner in photos and bigger so you know it could be the case where she actually goes to stage and looks nothing like this um, but I would put her in that third spot in my opinion okay and now uh, let's move into the top two which is very exciting everybody loves that top two that's really where we get to see it in a lot of ways okay this is for sure exactly what judges are looking for this is really that standard they want to see and for me I think top two is going to be second place in other words is going to be Issa okay Issa is a uh she's one of the top wellness athletes that did the Arnold you know Francie actually was the first wellness champion there and you know Issa is um a very very good example of what wellness is she brings uh you know not as hard of a condition but still has all the right shape all the right size and, you know, it's interesting to see the athletes that are putting current physique updates versus the ones that are not. And generally how I've seen and, you know, my uh, experience as a coach is the athletes that are in those top placings that don't post the physique updates all the time. They're the ones that are showing up to really dominate the stage. So it's interesting to see not a lot of, uh, you know, any updates here, but you can see from what there is, this is from one day ago. Um, she's not looking overly lean. She's not looking overly muscular. This really exemplifies criteria for wellness division, in my opinion. So I would put Issa second place and we'll see if I'm right. Remember, I want to know your picks. So drop them in the comments. Let me know who you think is going to win. It's going to be a very exciting to be watching the Olympia and see what's going on with this. Okay. So lastly, uh, uh, the winner, the champion, the person that I think is going to take this whole cake yet again has to be Francili Matos. Okay. Francili is the definition of wellness. 100%. Okay. She was from the first time she won the Arnold as the first wellness champion, uh, pro in the um, IFBB, okay, and then she went on to win Olympia, as I predicted last year, as you can see right here, okay, and I just don't see anybody coming out and dethroning her this year, it's just not there at this point with the athletes that I've seen and the development of the division, 
I don't think we will see that. And again, as we look, uh, those posts are pinned. So these are older posts. But as we look here, you know, same kind of thing I was talking about where generally the athletes that are coming to bring the heat don't do a ton of physique updates. This is some simple workout videos. It does not really show the physique. It doesn't really show where we're at. Um, but you can tell here, not overly, again, muscular, not overly lean like some of the other of my top five that we're talking about. And in my opinion, um, she's probably going to come into this with a well-improved physique and, you know, she's probably going to still exemplify this criteria very, very well and come back as the champion yet again for the wellness division. All right. So that would be my top five for sure. Um, again, I want to know yours. What do you think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Drop that in the comments below. And also let's just talk about the Olympia for a second, what this actually means. This being the second wellness Olympia, it will really be a time for judges to be able to sit there and say, all right, here's the new criteria. This is what we want to see. And they're either going to double down basically on what they're talking about, which is what I said. They're going to, you know, pretty much put Francine back in as the standard. Maybe Issa climbs up in the ranks because she's probably going to bring a little bit more of uh, the wellness criteria as it sits now. Look. Um, and that's, that's going to exemplify. All right. This really is wellness is wellness, right? It's a more lower body dominant version of bikini. Everything from torso up is pretty on par with bikini and uh, lower body is where we see the changes in the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, more development, but not leaner, not, not chiseling up, not doing striations, deep cuts, things like that. You know, the conditioning as it sits with wellness now, and as the official rule state is it should be on par with bikini. Now, wellness athletes do appear leaner, but that's because they carry more muscle. If you have more muscle, you know, like they do lower body and you have the same condition as another athlete with less muscle, like in bikini, you're going to show overall more definition. You're going to look leaner, but it's actually not leaner. So that's an interesting thing to consider. We'll have to see if they go for, you know, like Sonny Andrews or Yurishna as climbing in the ranks and getting, you know, more into that top five zone. Uh, you know, maybe top three, something like that. I don't see it happening. I think they're too lean. I think they're coming in too lean. But again, let's not forget peak week is a time where depending on how you do that, you can shift your look. So you can look really lean as these athletes deplete right now, um, but they're looking lean for a while. So I don't think that's a depletion thing they're doing. Um, and then fill out for show day. It's interesting to see. We'll have to see where that goes. So they will either double down on this criteria, which means, okay, now all you athletes out there that want to compete in wellness or are, you know a lot more about how to get a better physique and, you know, do better on stage, knowing where we're moving into next year, which is exciting. Now, this is also where they could change the criteria. Like I said, they could make a statement here and say, you know what? We've been getting a lot of people that say, hey, wellness too closely examples, uh, you know, bikini. We want to change it. And we want to actually make a bigger delineation. And so we are going to actually go for the more muscular physique, the leaner physique and say, okay, wellness just got harder. And now, like I said, it takes generally a couple years, several Olympias of a certain division on stage to be able to actually say, uh, this is the leanest, you know, division we want. This is the, how muscular we want it. This is the criteria. It takes a while of that because, you know, as I said, there's tons of new athletes coming through right now, tons of new pros getting on the Olympia stage this year. And that means that we're going to see kind of where the judges pick and line it up. Generally, as divisions go, they do get leaner. Like bikini goes like this all the time. It's going up and down where it's softer one year. It's harder the next year. Goes on a streak where it's harder. Goes on a streak softer. It's all up to what's on stage that day at Olympia and what athletes are bringing, what judges decide for the criteria. But really, that's a long-winded way to say that, you know, this will give you a chance to see what the wellness physique should look like next year. And remember, like I said, this criteria trickles all the way down to even if this is your first show. It doesn't mean you need to look like these athletes to do well. You definitely don't. But the criteria will be exemplified even if you're a novice, a beginner. It's your first show, your fifth show. You're going to nationals. You got to fit the criteria of these divisions. So Olympia is a cool time where we get to see that in action. We get to see exactly what judges want. All right. So I think that's it. I think that's my top five for you. I'm interested to know what yours is. Comment it below. Let me know if you think I'm right. Tell me who's in your top five and what you think is going to happen this year. And remember, Olympia is coming up next week. You should be tuning in for sure. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. Got tons of more great content coming for you all the time. Coach Rye is out.